hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here, unexpectedly, is the 2022 BMW iX XDrive 40. This is the only variant here of the iX here in the Philippines and the first electric car offered by BMW here. Big disclaimer immediately, this is only the introductory price of this car at 6,290,000 pesos. But being honest, for that price point with this car, super worth it every single penny of it so as well i'd like to thank bmw philippines rsa motors and behind the camera there reagan of reagan Threads. he also has a review of this coming soon so yeah big thanks to him for making this review possible so the looks of this bmw ix it grew on me sorry grew on me already so i don't mind it actually it, i kind of like weird looking cars anyway so it is okay for me and as well you have 21 inch i don't know like access tomahawks they're designed like this for aerodynamic purposes and i have a lot to talk about these wheels as well when we get to dive it in a bit so as well here in front you have blue garnish accents all around and i like this part of the bmw because they didn't try to make any fakery here whatsoever so kudos on them and as well here the grill it's actually just plastic it doesn't do anything but that's the advantage of electric cars if you don't have a grill it's more aerodynamic and as you can see as well here in the hood there's a lot of creases here for better aerodynamics my god this key is annoying anyway i've been advised by bmw philippines and reagan to open this hood i know how but bmw philippines might get mad at me but it's very similar to a race car that's all i have to say the only thing you can open here is for your washer fluid and what i like as well you can't open it if the car's locked there right there so again this has keyless entry that doesn't work this time for some reason <laughs> anyway there you go there that's the only thing you can open with this ix at the front why bmw didn't decide to put a frunk here at the first place because it will upset the 50 50 weight distribution that is well known with bmw so I understand now there are lots of sensors here at front and there's a lot of space here even behind this tall kidney grill and surprisingly for an electric suv you have 202 millimeters of ground clearance here on the side profile as you can see i expected a lot of chrome since that's the common trend now of suvs not this one these are all gloss black how to open the door i was expecting a button here but it's actually just underneath here once you open the door as well you have frameless windows I have not seen that since the BMW 218i Grand Coupe. Also, I have numerous BMW reviews. Link of those will be in the description down below. I expected, again, like the common trend of SUVs cladding here and there, but not this one. Just It's just here down below, yet again, with the blue accents. Here in the rear quarter panel of the BMW iX, there's a little iX logo over here on this black part out of the roof. And now here at the rear of the BMW iX, this is actually more like it. I prefer this side of the ix than the one in the front as well there are blue accents yet again all around bmw they even tried to put a fake diffuser so it's actually a nice look very clean here as well and very long led lights here but here in the bmw logo there's a reverse camera under here i like it's not here where you open the tailgate and you know my worst enemy with bmws is the kick to open but it's supposed to work right it's actually a big piece by the way this led light and the one below here are separate so to be honest when you open this part of the bmw ix doesn't look like the rear of an abarth 595 i mean there is some resemblance and as you can see here the carbon fiber composite material here that is very race car like so open this boot up there is a lot of stuff going on here you have your ewd signal here and a second tonneau cover that joins with this tonneau cover i mean it's very light you can assume store it down there because there is a lot of space underneath there is no space saver spare tire but you only have your charging cables so as well here in the boot you only have one led light here on the left side and then tethering hooks all around the space here in the back is 500 liters with all of the seats up so this is actually our equipment along with dragon so yeah there's a lot of stuff here but it's a good demonstration here on the right side oh wait i missed there's as well an led light here and then there is a 12 volt socket grocery hook and two buttons here to fold down the seats and when you fold all of the seats down you have a total of 1750 liters of space now as well need to take note with the wheels these are not run flat so this is the first bmw what i recall in a long time that does not 
come with run flat tires so first time seeing this in person this bmw ix it is a really big car so this is longer than the x5 itself and taller and wider than the x3 itself the wheelbase is longer than the aforementioned bmw suvs along with the x7 so speaking of wheelbase i'll show you the interior So this is the interior of the 2022 BMW iX, so check the door, you can hear a little click there like what I said in the BMW X5 review because this has soft close doors, so try that again, <laughs> actually when I went to Reagan's place when we got this unit, I noticed immediately there's ambient lighting here on the doors. I have never seen ambient light placing on that part of a car in general. And as well, if you notice, I opened the door. No handles here, but with the push of a button, similar to a Corvette. Here in the door card, leather all around, same here with the seats. A BMW Philippines told Reagan, this is actually one of the most expensive leather you can find. So I don't even know what kind of leather this is. And as well, you have window switches here and then aluminum trims all around like here for your adjustments for the seats. Find it weird on top here. So it's very similar to its competition. And as well, you have a Harman Kardon sound system. I've listened to this system already. It's really, really good. Not as basic as a Bose system, but it's much, much crisper to the ears. So here on the left side, you have an air conditioning vent and then for your light controls down below. And I like, for the first time ever in a BMW, as far as I recall only, I don't see any blank buttons whatsoever. So, good job BMW. And as you can hear, I'll just lower it down, you can hear the air conditioning system already on. I have not turned on this car yet, by the way. So, that's the advantage of electric vehicle. So, unlike a ICE engine vehicle, where you have to turn on the car and then open the air conditioning, this one automatically opens the air conditioning once you get in the car the steering wheel is a d-shaped steering wheel very similar to a british brand i must say so here on the left side you have your cruise control settings no adaptive by the way and on the right side you have for your phone connectivity buttons and a few adjustments here in the infotainment system like for the volume okay so you can do that here on the right side of the steering wheel and one more here a swivel type a knob here on the center console all of your controls are here with the, again with a swivel wheel and then few more similar buttons that i've encountered like in other bmws you have for your parking buttons for your reverse camera it's also the nicest reverse camera i've encountered so far in a bmw but this has parking sensors all around front and rear so it makes up for it even though you don't have 80 60 degree camera just notice now back here in the stinger there's no more spokes here in the middle so there's a lot of space you can just sit and hang your arms like this and just chill in the highway and then visibility all around is excellent here at front the dashboard is set really really low you can even see the bonnet and what everything in front already however as you can see there in the rear the visibility at the rear is not that great the d pillar is huge and the rear view is all right but yeah backing up might be a little bit difficult but then again it makes up for the reverse camera here so here in the instrument cluster and your infotainment system yeah it's just one whole piece so it's kind of like a very very long tablet so here you have your 12.3 inch digital instrument display and a 14.9 inch infotainment system like every other bmw or i'll say i think even better it's also one of the nicest infotainments i've ever tried and like my favorite feature in every bmw where you check out the oil the pms so on and so forth but this being an electric car only you only have tire pressure monitor and what check control no idea what this is and the service requirements like brake fluids yeah that that's literally all you have to monitor so that's a nice touch bmw still kept this for this ix and as well android auto is really really crisp also probably the best infotainment i've tried out so far and like most electric cars now to adjust the air conditioning as you can see here it's just below the screen since you can only adjust the air conditioning in the infotainment system i like this part now where your air conditioning vents are with just three buttons for your hazard and for your heating control functions it gives it a clean look i have to say and speaking of the center there is no divider here like so i understand people pranking from the passenger and then suddenly accelerating this car please do not try that at all 
And yeah, speaking of the center, you have two cup holders as well here with plastic grips. I'll use this very famous canteen. Behind that, you have two USB-C ports, a travel socket, and a wireless charging pad. And it fits my phone. And then glove box. Oh, There's a light in there, but it is pretty tiny. And as well, I just saw now, on the right side of the dashboard, there's a little leaf right there, if not mistaken. And then as well, you have cup holders and cubby spaces on each side of the door. I'll use this canteen again. And for the left side, you have your electronic tailgate button here. And as well, if you notice, there's a latch here. So in case doors don't work, this has a manual lever. Yet again, like in a Corvette. Center console box, just push this button. Okay, the size in here is pretty decent. There's also a light there. The seats being a BMW, despite being on the sportier side, and then look, there's a lot of bolstering, it still is very, very comfortable to sit in. This is actually probably one of the best seats I've sat in in a car so far. So, continuing up here, black headliner as well. You have touch sensitive lights over here with green ambient lighting. You can change that here in the infotainment system. Sun visors, you have a vanity mirror with a light. And like every other BMW, I did not accept. Sadly, but I mean, hey, it stretches all the way here, anyways. What else? A summary of this interior at front of the BMW iX, I have to say. I like the ergonomics of it. Yes, everything's here on the screen, but I got used to it pretty quickly. So, with that it, I'll show you the rear seats. So here now, at the rear of the BMW iX, like in front, you have soft closed here. Oops, try that again. There you go. I'm still fascinated with the Corvette style buttons here for the door. You only have a window switch left here since you're in the back anyways. And you have two cup holders and copy spaces on each side. I use this famous canteen here. It fits. And like in front as well, there is also ambient lighting for it. You can change the colors yet again like in the infotainment system. So space here in the back. One of the most spacious BMWs I've ever tied. So even more than the X5 and X7. I've yet to tie an X7 so... BMW Philippines if you're watching hello please but I would like to try out a BMW 530i M Sport because of this man sitting here in front so anyway back here space here in the back feet room knee room infinite headroom also infinite I mean that's my space now you have two map pockets here like every other BMW it's just hard type map pocket and you have two USB-C ports on each side of the seat and you have a little compartment here for your seat back table so yes like the x5 that is like an 8,000 peso option i'll just put it here on screen and funny thing with these seats uh there is a hole here in front so in case your driver or passenger is ticklish yeah you can do a healthy prank here right here in the back and that's when the feet i just saw now there's also ambient lighting for your feet okay and then here in the center you have two air conditioning vents and your air conditioning controls itself now I see two blank buttons on each side but that's it central armrest like a boss as well you have pop out cup holders the canteen as well fits here Reagan and I actually put our phones here earlier I found it really handy and then I found this isofix anchor points one of the fanciest as well you just pull this off and then you are greeted with that unlike some of the regular BMWs where it's a pop-out plastic type of thing so as well first time I encountered in a BMW there is no transmission tile so I can just simply slide here headroom not affected even the feet and knee room that's how spacious this thing is continues the Harmon Cardon sound system here a coat hanger on the B pillar most of the BMWs like the 5 series and the X5 there's air conditioning here on the B pillar and another coat hanger just above here now this is the biggest nitpick I have with this BMW iX there is no OSH handles I mean I was bracing for my life so I was just doing this in front earlier and sitting here on the way here at Reagan's filming location these are the best seats I've ever sat in even the ones in the front so kinda tempting to hit the lot now <laughs> just for this comfort alone and speed so this is the part where I talk about the engine but there is no engine so I'll join you in the charging port so this is the charging port of the BMW iX 
So fun fact, when I arrived at Reagan's place, this was still plugged. So at a 220 volt outlet, charging for 8 hours, this already gained 70 to 75 kilometers of range. So literally on a 220 volt socket, that's how much range you can get already. And as well, BMW recommends an 80% charging state to preserve battery life. I mean, you can charge up to 100 if you want. This filming location is really far. BMW charges up to 95%. But then again, 80% is the recommended state. So as well for a DC charging station, that will take from 10% to 80% in just 40 minutes. If you want the option of a wall charger which charges this car from 0 to 80% or 100, that will take 9 to 12 hours. By the way, that wall charger is a BMW dealer option. Powering this BMW iX, it's a 76.6 kilowatt hour battery, both front and rear. So that produces 326 horsepower and a total of 630 newton meters of torque. Remember, this is an electric car. The torque is instant. I've tried this out already, screamed for my life when I first uh, rode shotgun with Reagan while he's doing his filming as well. It is one of the most insane experiences I've ever had in a car. And I'm gonna drive this. And another way to f the tailgate is right here, just below the seats. How it makes you feel. And you know who you know who suggested that to me? And being an electric vehicle, this thing's on already. There's no sound at all, which is actually really, really cool. So right, this is it. Driving the BMW iX. You notice there's a lot of USB-C ports, but for us Android users, how do we use Android Auto? Actually, I found out after my, I did my shots in the interior. You have wireless Apple CarPlay and Sorry, Android Auto. I didn't hear that properly. And I forgot. <laughs> and the one thing I forgot a lot about this, if you say the brand's name, it will interrupt. Oh my God, sh shut up. Cancel. There you go. <laughs> right, found out the reverse lights are at the bottom. So. Make sure to keep some distance. The acceleration of this 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is done in 6.1 seconds. And then here's a clip of me with Reagan launching this car. Dude, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. All right, let's go. You're okay? I'm okay, I You're guess. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Three, two, one. So, first impressions with this BMW iX, this is the first ever BMW I've encountered with no tire noise. Here, I'll go a bit faster. 40, 50 kilometers per hour. That's amazing. And I remembered now why it doesn't have tire noise, because these are not on run flat tires. But then again, these are running on 21 inch tires. Those wheels and tires tend to be noisy not this one and as well probably one of the best nvh as well i've ever encountered i'll go a bit far <laughs> oh my god i have to get used to that and why not jesus christ this is hands down so far the fastest thing i've ever experienced oh my gosh and as well if you can hear the tone there that is done by the one and only Hans Zimmer, my favorite music composer in all of Hollywood. He's the one who did Man of Steel and the one who helped out 
Junkie XL of Zack Snyder's Justice League, my favorite ever movie. And you can you can hear that tone. Yeah, I can hear a bit of Dune vibes with this BMW iX. It is nuts. And as well, no driving modes here, but you can change out the sport theme here, normal theme, so on and so forth. And as well, the unofficial sport mode is the region braking, which you can set it to extreme, moderate, and low. So low being the less of the brake regeneration. Oh, there. I put it to B. It immediately stopped. I go a bit at faster paces, and then I just let go the pedal. Demonstration purpose only. My foot's not on the brake. That is crazy. But oh, that's boring. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing with electric cars. It's gonna be the craziest experience you'll ever have. Especially with this BMW. And I just realized, being only the second electric car I've ever driven on my channel, this drives like your typical BMW, to be honest. It is nuts. speechless with this BMW iX it's the f <laughs> I can't even describe how fast this thing is and that's what despite being an electric car yeah its biggest drawback is the brakes it's it's sometimes really high and then sometimes really low like there's little trouble and then later on the table is somewhere at the midpoint but now since we still have what 64% of battery yeah, it's still performing all right <laughs> I can do that all day, but my stomach might not be able to keep up. It's that nuts. <laughs> So coming from Reagan's condo, uh, we had 325 kilometers of range and now he's done with this car review, I'm doing my shoot now with this BMW iX, we still have 196 kilometers so actually I never had range anxiety with this BMW iX, we traveled to highways so on and so forth, this thing is so planted and composed and the range is excellent, you won't have an issue owning this thing at all, I'm gonna set that level back to low would i want one now this has to be my first electric car it's it's too good and for its price point aka the introductory price this is probably the best bang for the buck electric car ever and again it's a bmw no question about it with its driving dynamics and as well we tried it out on the highway very composed and again as i said it's very planted and driving it in the twisties a lot of course you know me and reagan we're crazy drivers we never experienced body roll with this even though this is one of the heaviest bmws in its lineup we had no issues with its handling whatsoever so <laughs> all right i gotta give this back to reagan before <laughs> i deplete all of its battery so that concludes my review of this BMW iX. I'd like to thank BMW Philippines, RSA Motors, and Reagan of Reagan Strides over here. <laughs> you gotta warn me before you do those posts, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the one who actually hooked up me with this car review. And what an honor to drive this BMW iX. So as well, his YouTube channel will be in the description down below. You should subscribe to him and check out his review of this exact BMW iX as well. So. Hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews and BMW reviews. Bye bye.